Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. The conversation unfolding before a campaign event for U.S. Senator Ted Cruz here last week echoed similar ones popping up among Republican groups around Texas. With a mixture of frustration and bewilderment, attendees were discussing the proliferation of black and white yard signs in their neighborhoods brandishing a single four-letter word, Beto. The signs have become a signature calling card of Democrat Beto O'Rourke's bid to unseat Cruz. While Democrats posting yard signs for candidates is nothing new, even when it happens in some of Texas' most conservative conclaves, what's been different this summer is the extent to which O'Rourke's signs have seemingly dominated the landscape in some neighborhoods. Meanwhile, Cruz signs are far tougher to spot, and many Cruz supporters have become increasingly agitated at their inability to obtain signs to counter what they see on their daily drives. Once the event in Georgetown got started, one of the earlier speakers a candidate for county office jokingly pleaded with the crowd to quit asking him for Cruz signs because he could not provide them. The Texas Tribune thanks its sponsors. Become one. Cruz later fielded a question about signs from the local member of the state Republican Executive Committee, Mike McCloskey. The one question I get asked universally, everywhere is, we're seeing signs that say Robert Francis in our neighbor's yards, and we want to claim our territory and have your signs in our yards, McCloskey told Cruz, using O'Rourke's birth name. I think people here are wanting those. What can we do to get those in the hands of the folks that want to have them in their yard? That's a question we hear a lot, Cruz said. Yes, there are a lot of signs for my opponent, Beto O'Rourke. They invested a ton of money and they put that money, part of it, into having signs everywhere. The sign disparity is not necessarily indicative of an enthusiasm gap, but of differences in campaign spending priorities. But more broadly, Cruz campaign manager Jeff Rowe has an aversion to yard signs he said he views them as a far less effective use of campaign money than door knocking, television and radio advertising, phone banking, or direct mail. That's not a new strategy in Cruz world. Rowe said the Cruz 2016 presidential campaign spent no money on yard signs. It would be an easier campaign to win if we just used yard signs, and whoever wins is who puts up the most yard signs, Rowe told the Texas Tribune. Even so, the Cruz campaign has distributed 10,000 signs so far, and ordered another 25,000 for these anxious supporters.